We humans have always tried to understand the world. And now finally, artificial intelligence is here to the rescue. The new chatbots answer almost any question we have with full confidence, also when they are completely wrong. And that's the problem. How can we know if we should trust them? Welcome to Gapminder's Artificial Worldview Benchmark for testing the global misconceptions of chatbots. This is how it works. We started with 365 fact questions which most people answer wrongly. Here's one example about food waste. Globally, how much food is lost between being harvested and sold in stores? There were three options and this is how people answered. The correct one is A, but most people overestimate this. Only 7% pick the right answer. So this example question is down here. People on average scored 23% correct on these questions. All of them are ABC questions, which means that a chimpanzee picking answers at random would score 33%. The reason why humans score worse than monkeys on these questions is because most of us suffer from the same misconceptions. And one year ago when we started testing the chatbots, I actually expected that they would also score just as bad as humans because they are trained on content that was created by humans who mostly suffer from these misconceptions. But I was wrong. In April 2024, we asked Google, Alibaba, Anthropic and OpenAI these questions and they all scored better than humans. On average, 69% correct answers. Some weeks later, a new version of Gemini came out and it was much better. And we tested Meta's chatbot Llama and with every new version of these bots, the average just increased. In September, XAI's Grok version 2 scored worst with only 70% correct answers. And then, in October, suddenly Anthropic's AI Claude overtook OpenAI's leading position with a new world record of 89% correct answers. And then, in January 2025, something really surprising happened. Alibaba released a new version of Quen 2.5 and it scored worse than the previous. Since then, we have also added DeepSeek to the mix, scoring 78% correct. The improvement of the artificial worldview during the past 10 months was amazing. The accuracy increased on average by 9.7%. This should be compared to the human worldview, which didn't seem to improve at all during the past 10 years when we have been testing people. We humans like simple answers. So what's the conclusion here? Can we trust the chatbots or not? Some people have already made up their mind. They have proudly decided to never trust AI with anything because once a chatbot gave them a ridiculous answer. It makes a lot of sense to be careful. The AI bots are still far from perfect. As we saw with the fact-based worldview, even the best chatbot, Anthropic, replicates human misconceptions 10% of the time. But on the other hand, if we compare to humans, the chatbot's worldviews are already much more accurate. So instead of trying to make a final decision to trust or not, I recommend we keep track of their progress and remain curious to learn more about how they work. Therefore, Gapminder launched this new tool to keep track of how the different chatbots answered all our questions. Here is the food waste question from my example. Look, if you hover the circle, you can see that most of the chatbots actually answered this one wrongly, which is very unusual. We will keep publishing new test results as soon as new chatbots or chatbot versions comes out and as long as we can afford. We are not being paid by any company to do this. So if you enjoy Gapminder's independent knowledge testing, please go to Gapminder and donate. Actually, right now we are testing two new versions of some of these bots that we just looked at. So please come back within a few days and see if we have a new leader.